These are finds from pretty much one, I guess, site. Um, they're about a quarter of a mile apart. But unfortunately, I forgot to bring the camera with me whenever we went out both days. Um, my mind's going, I guess. It's New Year. Today is uh, New Year's Day. And this is from yesterday and the day before. So here's what we got. So December 30th and 31st, Becky and I went out to a site that we'd been to twice before and we dug some shot bullets and that was about it. Uh, but this time we went a little bit further down this, and it's a long drainage, and we got into the, some the woods and we got into a, a, the firing range, apparently was. There's probably, um, I don't know what there is here, 60 bullets or something. And we gave, I gave 10, I think, to the landlord, and Becky got 20 or 30 bullets herself. So we had a good day. Uh, and I really thought I had more bullets than this, but I don't know. I'll have to look and see if I put some somewhere because my memory's not that great anymore. What was I talking about? These are 69 calibers, um, 58s. Might be some 54s in there, I'm not sure. These little, uh, I think these are 54, these little. Ringtail Sharps, I believe they're 54, I don't remember, you probably know better than I do. Anyway, it's kind of cool that there's ringtails out there. Some round balls. Some neat high impact bullets, I always like those. Really mangled lead some pistol bullets. This one's pretty neat because you can really see the rifling on it. You count the lands and grooves and figure out, measure them, figure out exactly what gun that came out of. What type of gun, have to check that out. Anyway, uh, the next day on the 31st, we went back and we went about a maybe a quarter mile away from that site and found this stuff some more shot lead this is pretty neat little uh, round ball 69 caliber with the ramrod impression and then here are buck and ball impressions in it or the buck balls whatever buck shot it's pretty flattened shot bullets and then these dropped guys big 69's this is nice this muscatoon it looks like it has that almost wood grain finish to it like the other muscatoons that I found in another video I found I don't know 20 or so on a site that's not too far from this site there's a little 54 drop 54 mini it's nice and this one with a hard ramrod mark on it he had trouble getting that down the barrel uh, this little Carbine sling buckle, dated 1853. That's pretty cool. I believe it's a 53. It could be a 55, but that was one of the first things I dug out there. Parasol, umbrella pieces, flat lead, harmonica reed. This thing's neat. The Brayton House, it says. I don't know if you can see that on there. It says Brayton House. And this is either a 7 or a 2 upside down. We'll see, you'll be able to see a little bit better. So I don't know if it hung upside down like that and was a 2 and it hung on that or what. And it's like got a sawtooth edge on it. Like you would not want to carry that in your pocket. I don't know if that's why if it was designed that way. If it held a key and they didn't want you to put it in. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. There's My buddy found a Brayton house in... Wisconsin it was built in the 1860s and there were soldiers from Wisconsin down here the that same fellow found a nice Wisconsin state button uh, out here anyway and we, we know there were soldiers from Wisconsin here uh, but this is the neatest thing this is a Missouri state seal button a coat button and just missing the back But it's pretty neat. You can see all the detail on it. And it's got a lot of the gilt left. It was worn for a while. It was worn down. That's the back. Oh, 
was left of it in the hole. I looked, I couldn't find any more of it and just disintegrated and this stuff does over time. About 170 years, whatever, ago, you know, Missouri enrolled militia, beginning of the war. Pretty cool. Rare. Really glad to have that. Anyway, focus, buddy, focus. Come on. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, it was a great end to 2016. Uh, Becky did good. She, at this site, she found four spoons and a fork. All period, it looks like. Um, I think it looks period. And I think maybe she posted some pictures on some Facebook sites of that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy New Year.